I've got away from the stand for a wee while, so I'm going to go and see a couple of cows and see what the stock judging entails. And I've just I've found one here now, so how are you? Very good, thank you. Very good. Um, We're just standing in the shade here to get out of the get heat. Get her, keep her cool. I know it's hard, <laughs> yeah. isn't it, on them? Yeah. Especially with so, her and her colour. Yeah, the colour and, uh, well, she should be covered in oil at this stage for yeah, the show and that yeah, would make it yeah. even worse. But yeah. How is so, she getting on for you? How's she doing? She's done very, very well. Um, this is Cookie, Candy Boy Tequila Cookie and uh, she's won a lot of prizes for us over the last few years. Mm -hmm. She was um, champion at Balmoral Show last year and Reserve Interbreed and also at the Winter Fair. She she's was good champion genes, Jersey, then. so she's done an awful lot of winning for us. She yeah. Has, yeah, she definitely, definitely so, looks lovely. Yeah. Whenever so, you're getting her ready, what are you kind of going for to keep the judges happy? Um, well, the thing is, you know, she's a dairy cow, so she's supposed to look um, clean, angular, sort of triangular shapes. Yeah. Um, but she also needs to move really well and yeah. have a really good udder. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're not just ready for showing today because her udder's not full of milk, yeah. which is what it would be whenever you were going to go into the ring. She's getting ready. Yeah, but um, yeah, you would, have, you would have all the hair clipped off her. And uh, as I say, her tail fluffed up. Her tail would be fluffed <laughs> up, and uh, the hair on the top of her back would actually be blown up just to level it out completely. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, this hair that's in her ears and all would be gone. And she, um, her udder would be full of milk. And then mm -hmm. those are sort of the basic things, but you know, you want a dairy cow, as I say, that's angular, that has a deep body. Yeah. She needs to be able to eat a lot to produce a lot she of milk. She needs the right shape. Yeah, you also want them to have strength as well. So you want width between their front legs, chest width. Um, and that should be carried all the way through so that whenever yeah. you get behind her, she's got a big wide she's still rear udder as well. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you she want won them. you plenty of rosettes then? She has won a lot of rosettes for us. You have a waffle oh, yeah. for her? We have indeed, and quite a few sashes and all sorts of things. So She's yeah. the pet, she's staying for good, <laughs> aren't you, Bird? Oh, yeah, she's here for the duration. I'm oh, glad to no hear it, aren't you, Birdie? Yeah. So. Well, she's well looked after, aren't we? And she's yeah. happy. So. So we're all as quiet as you. Hmm? <laughs> Do you enjoy the shows? Yeah, I enjoy it very much. I'm um, getting older now, and it's more... Uh, more hard work. Like Probably said. enjoy going off judging nearly more than showing. Do but, you do uh, a wee bit of judging yourself? I yeah, do quite a bit of judging here and there. Obviously in the show ring she would be going around with her head up in the air and walking nice and slowly. Yeah. But nevertheless as she stands there you do get a lot of, you can see a lot of the good points about yeah, her. Yeah. Um, a dairy cow should be a lot of straight lines and triangular wedge yeah, shapes. Yeah as like along here. So as straight as possible along the top of her back. Mm -hmm. um, then if you look at her side, you can see that wedge shape here as well. Yeah. And see if you come you behind, mean. you really see the width that she's got all the way through, right from her front legs are quite well wide apart, and then the width of her body, and then this good width in her rear quarters, and that gives her a lot of room for her udder. Yeah. Um, today, she's not full of milk, obviously. If she was ready to go into yeah. the show ring, that Should would be, be absolutely full. Um, but it does still give you a good idea. The really important things about any dairy cow, not just a show cow, they have to have that overall really good appearance. Yeah. Um, they also have to be able to move. They have to be able to walk. Do the walk, right, yeah. And you want really nice quality of bone. Again, she has really, really good bone quality. If you look closely at her back legs, um, they're there. very flat and flinty, as we would talk about. Um, very different to a beef animal, which would actually yeah. be quite round. And that's what you're looking for. And then that's on what a you're looking for. Dairy cow. And there she's a little bit too stretched there at the moment. You would want, uh, but that's the head up in the air is a great thing, and you just would want these legs a bit further forward. Aye. Uh, you and would under see people her. trying to. Yeah. So get that if stand so that if you them. had a judge looking at her, she was more balanced. It's just harder fall potential whenever yes. she's standing. Yeah. You get but that sort of gives you the uphill run and. If you get the legs too far apart, you sort of lose a little bit in the strength yeah, in the top yeah. line. Well, she knows how to stand, I know, yeah. the amount of rosettes that we've seen. <laughs> She's pretty good whenever you take her into the show ring. Um, she has done it so many times, it's not... You it's don't not quite get her. the reaction. Some cows go in and the head just goes straight up. And, and the, just, um, but it could cause the whole hammering yeah. for them. Yeah, but she's still good at it. Um, and her udder, when you look at it on the side, there's good length to her udder. Oh, Oops. she sees herself. <laughs> she sees herself. <laughs> um, here, and her forerunner right. is well attached to her body and the teats are nicely tucked in below and it's good space yourself. on the side. Yeah. So there's a lot of really good qualities about her. As I say, if she was absolutely in complete show form, um, she would probably be... The just hair a, done. And yes, and also she would probably have a little bit less condition on her. 
you would be able to see these ribs a little clearer yeah, yeah. and she would have a little bit less condition just there on her shoulders um, but she's been calved since November and it's always difficult to keep them Holstein cows you can keep razor sharp not all not all jerseys you can do despite the fact that she does milk very well and um, she did 8,000 litres last year in her lactation yes um, um, if you're getting a an animal ready for a show when do you start how long before the show um well in for her for last year's winter fair which was in december yeah um we probably started she went dry um captain she went dry early september uh -huh. and for the full month of september she was on a special diet yeah, to, to, get her... Um, to get her leaner and take condition off her and then she got a little bit better feed coming up to the show but really she was on a program you could say right from September um, until the winter fair uh, in December and it's tight going too isn't yeah, it like it's yeah. not just overnight it's not just overnight there's a lot of intense work goes in at the end yeah where you for both got, these her and the yes cow, like, both for the cow and, and the cow. there's a lot of work goes in with the the cattle fitter coming and prepping and doing all the work at the last minute but yes it's a actually most show cows it's a three six five day thing yeah, you know, yeah. It's, you're looking after them and then all systems with that go whenever you get there yeah She's wild about herself anyway in this wonder. <laughs> so, aren't you, bird? Yeah. But see, she has a lot of the those characteristics that I particularly like to see in a dairy cow. In that, not only does she have the dairy quality, but she's the strength to go with yeah, it. Yeah, she's got the full package nearly. Then. Yeah, you don't want them to get too frail. You don't want them to get too narrow-chested. If they're going to be productive over a longer number of years, they need to have the strength to go with yeah. that dairy quality. For this, they could so, lose it. Yeah. Couldn't you, birdie? Well, thank you okay. very much, Emily, for giving me the lowdown. Not at all. You're very welcome. I'll be a cattle judge yet. <laughs>